This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use a new Casio 570 EX calculator to solve the inverse matrix and identity matrix kind of questions in the matrix topic of SBM Modern Math. Right, so basically in matrix, right, this is how we order the matrix for like matrix A2 times 2. So we will write A, B, C, D like this. The, Position of A, B, C, D is already fixed. You cannot, because some students actually, they prefer to do something like A, B, C, D. Yeah, you can't do like this. Because if you do like this, your inverse metric will be wrong. So you must follow the order. Same idea for identity matrix. It must be 1, 0, 0, 1. Because I have the student, he will do something like 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, this is not the identity matrix. That basically means the order of the number of identity matrix is fixed already. The order of the small letter A, B, C, D is fixed already. It must be arranged like this. All right, so therefore you need to make sure you don't make this kind of mistake. All right, uh, for identity matrix, right, you can actually check from the calculator straight away. You just go to the menu, look for matrix, and then type enter. And then here you can type AC because you want to uh, look for identity matrix. Go to option, then then come down. You should be able to look for identity here, which is number four here. And then over here, they want uh, they want you to tell the calculator like uh, how many column and 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 row for identity matrix here. So obviously this is two times two, right? So you just need to type a two here. You no need to type two multiply two. Okay, when you type the two here, they actually will tell you the identity matrix for two. Like one zero zero one. Just in case in the exam you confuse is it zero one one zero or one zero zero one. So if you confuse you can check at the calculator here. So if you type the three the calculator will give you three times three. If you type the four the calculator will give you four times four. Yeah I can show you here if I go to identity matrix here, if I type 3 here, it's basically I get a 3 times 3 one. Yeah, this one you will learn at STPM or L level in the future, but you're not going to learn here. Okay, this is how you get the identity matrix from the calculator. However, if you go to the option, you come down, you realize something is you don't see the inverse matrix. Okay, so for inverse matrix, right, you kind of need to use another way uh, to get it. Okay, so this is the purpose I make this video, because I want to teach you how to get an inverse metric from this calculator. All right. Okay, let me go back to the menu. Okay, number four here. So, yeah, you need to define a matrix. Let's say uh, I define a matrix A. Okay, for inverse metric in SPM, you must be, it must be two times two only. Okay, until you go to higher level, you have three times three. Okay, so two, two row, and two column. Okay, then I will insert uh, any matrix. So let's say I just give myself a random matrix here. Let's say it's one, two, three, four. If I want to get the inverse matrix from uh, for one, two, three, four, I can use the manual way here, definitely. You can see the manual way to get it. A inverse is what? One over, this is A, B, C, D, isn't it? A, D mean A multiply D. One multiply four, you get four. Minus B, C. So it will be, 2 multiply 3, which is minus 6. And then A and D, you realize they swap place, right? This one supposedly A, B, C, D, right? So they swap place. So A and D, you need to swap place, become 4, 1. And B and C, you need to add negative. B and C, you need to add negative, which is negative 2 and negative 3. All right. So basically, you will have something like 1 over negative 2, and then 4, negative 2, negative 3, 1. All right. Then you kind of need to multiply the 1 over negative for every of the term here. So like 1 over negative 2 times 4, you get negative 2. This one you multiply for negative 2, you get 1. This one you multiply negative 3, you get uh, 3 over 2, which is 1.5. And this one this one multiply 1 here, you get back negative 1 over 2. All right, I think this calculator they will give you in decimal. Yeah, you kind of need to uh, write in the decimal or you change it, change it back to the fraction. Okay, this is how you can do in a calculator. I will type 1, 2, 3, 4 as my matrix A, isn't it? So what I want to do right now is I go to the option here and then I want to do some uh, matrix calculation. And then I go for option and then I choose the matrix A, which is number 3. And then I type this button. Do you see? Inverse matrix A inverse. 
then the calculator should be able to tell me what is the A inverse. So you can see it's negative 2, 1, 1.5, which is 3 over 2 is 1.5, and negative 1 over 2 is negative 0 0.5. Okay, because the calculator can only tell you in decimal form, and in the exam, I think it's fine to leave the answer in decimal form as well. Okay, but in this topic, right, especially inverse metric, you have something like, like this. Um, They will tell you uh, some keyword is, if inverse or sometimes they say if a inverse does not exist okay this is something like uh, uh very important because it's coming out in the exam SPM exam for a few time already okay how to make the a inverse doesn't exist okay you should know this one basically means what this one means determinant so basically, t determinant is something like it decides whether A inverse exists or not. So when A inverse do does not exist, right, basically it means what? It means AD minus BC is equal to zero. Okay, because you just Im imagine one divided by zero, what do you get? Any number divided by zero, you get math error, right? So it means it doesn't exist. So therefore, you need to do AD minus BC equals to zero. Okay, so like for, for example, just now, if I want to find my determinant, which is negative 2 is my determinant, you can also find from this calculator. You just go to the option, you come down here, and then you should be able to look for determinant, which is number 2. And then you want to find a determinant of matrix A, right? So you can go for number 3, determinant of matrix A, then you should be able to get negative 2. Okay, this is uh, this one is less useful for SPM. When you go to a higher level, the determinant is quite hard to find. Then you will find this function is very useful here. But yeah, if you want to check, there's a uh, option in this calculator. All right. So, and then another thing is identity matrix. What is the purpose of identity matrix? Okay, identity matrix basically is act like a one in the number. So you need to understand is um if a matrix A multiply identity matrix, I get back A. You just imagine A multiply 1, you get back A, isn't it? So identity matrix is multiplied with A, you still getting back uh, A. So any matrix multiply I, you're getting back the same matrix here. However, if the question says something like uh, matrix A multiply matrix B, you will get identity matrix. Okay, that is different story. Okay, so if A, I want to multiply B, I want to get back inverse right it's either b is the inverse of a or a is the inverse of b okay so this is a reason how you will get identity matrix just imagine something like this if i want to find what is matrix b then i kind of i say this one act at like one right just imagine this one act like one then i move the a to the other side i kind of get something like one over a isn't it so b is actually a inverse do you see because one over a like in, in this sense we can call a inverse isn't it but of course, this one is um, not like the real methods of doing this because uh, this is not algebra. You ki kind of cannot uh, do this method. However, I think this is an easy method to let students uh, to understand that. Okay, so therefore, you kind of need to remember in order to get identity matrix, right? It's either A multiply A inverse, you will get I. Or B inverse multiply B, you will get I. Okay, or B multiply B inverse, you still get getting back the I. So basically it means the matrix multiply the inverse of itself, then you will get identity matrix. Okay, this is something uh always come out in paper two one. Uh. Okay, so over here before I end this video, let's have a look at one of the questions of paper two here. Okay, so normally in paper two they will tell you something like this. They say okay, P is about two, three, one, four. And they say PQ equals to I, and it asks you to find the matrix Q. This is exactly like what I say just now. So you should know Q basically is the P inverse. So what I want to do here is, in order to find the matrix Q, what I will do is, I will do the uh, P inverse. Okay, so it will be 1 over AD is 2 multiply, uh, 2 multiply 4, which is 8. And BC is 1 multiply 3, which is minus BC, isn't it? minus 3 and then a and d we need to swap place which is 4 and 2 and then b and c we need to add negative which is negative 3 and negative 1 here okay then i will just like solve like this this is 1 over 5 uh 4 negative 3 negative 1 and 2 okay basically you can leave your answer like this but if you want to check in the calculator you kind of need to multiply 1 over 5 in 
every of the term here and the calculator will give you a decimal so if i'm if i multiply in uh i want to check my answer is correct or wrong so something like this is 4 over 5 which is 0 0.8 and then this is like negative 3 over 5 which is negative uh, 0 0.6 and then this is like negative 1 over 5 which is negative 0 0.2 and then this is 2 over 5 which is 0 0.4 yeah you can use a calculator here, like not no need to do like me actually doing like mental work here. So over here, if I want to use a calculator, I can just go to option and then I do something like define matrix and then I, but just now I already used the matrix A, right? So right now I will use it at matrix B, it doesn't matter. Matrix B, and then it's two times two. All right, then I will just insert uh, B as my matrix P here, which is two, three, one, and four here. Okay, then what I want to do is, I go to the option and I go to metric calculation and then here I want to do B inverse isn't it option metric B which is number four and then I type the inverse button here and then calculator should be able to tell me all the metrics I want okay so if if suddenly you got the wrong answer here you want to check whether your determinant is correct or wrong you can just go to the option and then you come down look for determinant which is number two here and determinants of matrix b which is four here and then you see is it five here okay if determinant is correct then maybe you can check uh, is it your the way you move the a b c d is wrong here okay then this is how you get the inverse matrix okay then what we want to do is the part two they ask us to use a metric to solve the simultaneous so okay this one is a little bit different is you need to know how to make the simultaneous equation into matrix okay so this is what we will do here okay so we will do a two multiply two matrix here this one will be two multiply two and then two multiply one matrix equals to two multiply one matrix this is matrix order okay so for two times two matrix here what we will do is we will take the coefficient of x and y when i say coefficient of x and y basically you can see the number in front of the x and y here if you see nothing here basically means one so this is two three one four okay realize it's the same matrix here isn't it? this is the reason why you see the keywords like hangs and then here to to multiply one matrix we put the x first then only y okay x first then y then this one is four and negative three their answer for two times one Right, so what happened is because I want to solve it, I want to find x and y. So if I want to find the x and y, I will move my this matrix to the other side. When I move my this matrix to the other side, you realize it's multiply, right? So if I move to the other side, it will become inverse matrix of this one, which is my answer of Q, which is inverse matrix of P. Okay, so but when you move to the other side, uh, something is very important is you want to move this matrix to the other side is before this two times one matrix or after this two times one matrix okay then this one you need to know for multiplication right we want to make sure the middle letter is the same right if you watch my last video you should know so therefore it must be before of this matrix because if you just imagine if i move at the back here two times two here you realize the middle letter is not the same right then you cannot do the multiplication so we cannot choose this option so the inverse matrix must be before this answer okay so therefore the inverse matrix we have ready uh you, you can copy this one or the other one it doesn't matter so let's say i copy the answer so therefore it's 0 0.8 negative 0 0.6 negative 0 0.2 0 0.4 all right then i multiply with two uh i multiply with four and negative one uh, negative three i mean four and negative three okay so here if you want to do the multiplication using the calculator you can do that but you need to define a new matrix this one like i will go to the option i want i say define matrix and then define matrix b will use already just now right so right now i want to define the matrix uh c which is number three here and then this one is called two times one right two multiply one and then i just insert four and negative three okay so then i will go to the option do the matrix calculation and then over here i want to do something like matrix b inverse this b inverse multiply with matrix c then this one is matrix c okay so i will just tell my calculator option b inverse multiply option matrix c which is number five here and the calculator should be able to tell me the final answer uh, which is five and negative two 
So this is x and y. So therefore, I know my answer of x will be equal to 5 and my answer of y will be equal to negative 2. Of course, in the exam, you cannot straight away use the calculator. I say many times already, the calculator actually is to help you to check your answer. So over here, you kind of need to provide one more step is how you do this one manually. Okay, so we always use the answer, uh, the calculator to check our answer whether it's correct or wrong, but we cannot straight away skip the working because this is paper two, the working is the must. Unless it's paper one, then this kind of metric, you can straight away use the calculator to do it. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key in my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just tap Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye